I don't. I generally don't like to have this much money just sitting around, unused. But burning hey, a hole in your pocket. It is so good to see you. We've been out of fuel and floating out here for weeks. We were terrified a pirate or those damn rebels would find us first. Give them the fuel minus three, or apologize. Wish them luck and continue on. I'd say give them the fuel. Right. We have twelve. We're good. We, we, we're well stocked. Yeah. Sure give them the fuel. Thank the gods. We can finally get out of here. We're jumping straight home, so take this extra weapon. We won't need it, hopefully. Pegasus missile. All right. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's a new thing. Pegasus. Oh, required power. Three. That's just a lot. Creative missile design allows for two projectiles for the cost of one. Charge time, 20 seconds. Requires missile. Shots per charge, two. Normal damage, two. Shield piercing. Fire chance low. Breach chance low. Stun chance low. Low is better than if it doesn't say anything, by the way. The baseline is, you know, so... Okay. Um, so yeah, if we had the power for that, that would be... Do you want to power up your weapons or something like that, or...? Possibly. Let's see. Let's take a look at this. I think you could also, like, easily replace your uh, Artemis missile with that thing. Yeah. You gotta be hit... You're basically, it's like two Pegasus for the price of one. In a, in a very sci-fi way, I'm just kind of realizing that Walker is essentially the Tasha Yar of FTL. <laughs> That's poor guy. I just hope we don't. I just hope we don't end up bringing over the Doctor Pulaski of FTL. <laughs> An Engie ship in the or the Wesley Crusher of FTL, for that matter. <laughs> An Engie ship in the vicinity, seeing you ar jump in, arm to the teeth, immediately broadcasts its surrender. Subject goal: wealth. Engie motivation: survival. Transfer of goods acceptable. Explain that you're friendly. Oh shit! And you see me leave. You need to get off on the way. They set off without saying goodbye. Should have just. Oh my gosh! What was oh, I that thinking? That scratch is burning a hole in your pocket, man. No, it's getting. Oh, you make contact with an isolated Engi science station, who are staying put despite the likelihood of Mantis invasion. They suggest you try you trial some experimental technology. Okay. Which I guess the te it's the technology is they give me stuff and I, the, uh, I take it. Here's some crap. That's the experiment. Damn it. I go here for the specific purpose of finding a store. You see a number of Engie space stations and fleets nearby. Despite looking like piles of junk loosely tied together, they are actually a model of efficiency. Oh, it's like oh, it's like my room. They just lack a certain aesthetic emphasis in their constructions. Like your room. <laughs> All right, let's... Gee. We got a we got a little time to explore before the rebels catch up to us. Yeah. Uh-oh. The rebel fighter here would seem to suggest elements of the rebel fleet are already making incursions on enemy space. We need to engage. Gonna be using our... Oh! Oh, shit! We've been hacked. <laughs> Immediately! Ah! Uh. Well, oh, they've got a drone. What kind of drone is it? Oh, it's a shield overcharger. That... Notice they've got that extra little bar there? Yeah. That, like, has to be knocked down... Oh, wait, actually... Yeah, that... I believe that actually... I believe if they have a bar like that then uh, stuff that normally would go through the shields will impact them instead, so the Artemis would actually hit their shield. So I'm going to fire the, the first laser first. Okay. Okay, yeah, I see those that it, it hit, but it just took down that bar. As opposed okay. to the taking away their big blue thing. They're, they fire a beam, but, you know, as I said, it just sort of... Oh, damn it. <laughs> Okay, luckily it didn't last too long. And their beam just flaccidly slaps against our shield. I think we make their beams out of water. Oh! oh. No, notice sometimes, depending on the trajectory, you know, your shots, you know, they fly across, you know, the little picture yep. ship. That's not just cosmetic. If they if they intercept one of their drones, it will destroy it. Or yeah. just damage it. Oh! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Damn you, heart bleed! <laughs> yeah, topical. All right, shield damage. Oh, the, <laughs> no, looks like they've got a new drone launched. Yeah, I noticed. If a drone is destroyed, you can relaunch it. You can relaunch a new one. It'll toss another drone part though. That's waiting for it to. <laughs> oh! Oh, again! Uh, ow! <laughs> I'm gonna have this Artemis missile ready to fire as soon as their sharp boosted shield is down. Yeah. 
I'm gonna hit that goddamn hacky. Whistle away. Yes! Oh! Oh no! Oh, they're in trouble. Hey, try hacking me now, you son of a bitch. Hacks you. <laughs> oh! At least they got their priorities to do the shields first. Oh, stay! Oh, no! It's going to be fair! <laughs> oh, man. I think someone on the crew opened one of those Russian penis emails or something. You like to fight another Artemis. Guy. Oh, damn it. Oh. oh, I missed! Oh. This is. We're just, like, again, we're just sort of flail. We're like, it's like a fight between like three year olds. We're just like flailing and slapping at each other. We can't really do any damage. <laughs> well, it's like, um, it's like one of those fights where like one of them grabs your ear and then you grab your nose and neither one of them, neither one of you will let go. <laughs> we're just saying that missile that you fired like hundreds of thousands of years later is gonna like hit some like peaceful vessel. Oh god damn! I can't! That Artemis missile is very inaccurate for some reason. I was gonna say, uh, maybe switch up to the Pegasus. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. We don't have enough system power. There we go. Now that'll take just 20 seconds to charge, but... At least we don't really need to... Oh wait, I forgot, but their the shield is charged. They've got the boosted shield now. Oh, they got two of it, them! Okay, I'm it sorry. It won't penetrate the shield now. Oh, my mistake. You have screwed me again, Dave! Somehow. I'm I'm working with them. Oh! <laughs> Rebel Fleet finally gets here. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, this, this should have, like, taken up a couple turns on the big map by now, I think. Jumping out of here, I'm half at it. Oh, there's a store. <laughs> this whole time you found the store. <laughs> uh, maybe they can sell me some dignity. The Yankee can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The but Yankee they can't hive... give you your balls back. <laughs> the Yankee Hive at this beacon are selling equipment for just that. Well, we have a nice little space purse for you. All right. Oh, okay. There's two pages of stuff now. There's more. Let's see. Oh, oh, cool. Okay, battery. these are augmentations. These are like, they're not systems in themselves, but they bend, they boost you in some way. Drone recovery arm. Non-destroyed drones will be retrieved when jumping, allowing their parts to be used. That's like, that's like a must-have if you're going to use a drone-heavy strategy. Yeah, but we don't really Which have... Not, well, we but... have drones, we just only have drones to... Actually, I believe we sold it. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Drone control. No. Really. Eh. No. Backup battery. Which you don't really... That gives you a temporary boost to your power supply. Clone bay, again, I've... Discussed my problems with the clone bay before. Hull repair, shield. Oh, shield. Ah, here's a uh, another guy we can. These an, a uh, a Zoltan. The Zoltan are allies of the Engi. Their innate energy can power ship systems. Now they're pretty cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this guy. Did you want to get the other guy too? Uh, nah, not at the moment. I don't think. You good? Yeah. Okay. Now these guys they have less hit points. And, okay. And they explode when they die somehow. But the thing is. They automatically provide a bar of power to whatever system they're in, if it needs it. So oh, so, like, they can... Oh, sweet! So, you know, it's my shield generator. It's got that yellow bar. That's from him. And that put a bar back in my reserves. All right, cool. So, right now, I, for now, I'll just power that. Actually, I just realized uh, what you can do is that since he's got that extra energy, you can take the energy out of the Artemis and... Uh, well, first I, gotta upgrade my we first, I gotta upgrade my weapons. Oh, okay. Did which you want to start upgrading? Which I'm gonna do. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> going to now target. I'm going to take, take this out of the uh, med bay. I've got three bars now, and all right. Now hey, the Pegasus, all right. The Pegasus. Oh wait, do you think, okay. Oh, actually, I just realized. Do you think we need fuel? Because we're only at four. Yeah. Good. Good. Good thinking. All right. Okay. We're well stocked for missiles. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sell the old one. 
service. All right. Now we need to make. Now we need to head for the exit. We can't afford to wait. Uh oh. Flame ah. star. The beacon has been placed too close to a super giant class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here or die. A pirate, apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun, moves in to engage. You know, red star. I feel obliged to point out that red stars are actually the least hot. So, but, but I guess it was too close apparently. I don't. I, I, I'm nitpicky. Perhaps. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have the burst laser target their weapon. Now, now the uh, the the Artemis chart could fire before the burst laser. The Pegasus takes longer. So. Yeah. Target the shields again. Oh, it hit, oh, it hit the helm. Oh my god. And me. Okay, so now John is working on repairs, and so the helm is offline, so we can't do we can't dodge now. Okay. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So we need to get that. Coming. Accept their offer of surrender. I'm gonna accept just because I want to get away from this star as quickly as possible. Okay. Hey, you got some, uh... They give up pretty easily, I have to say. Mm-hmm. I help out. Solar flare imminent! Now this yeah. causes some unpleasantness. Oh, now there's fires on the ship. And a hull breach. Got a hull... Br oh, and a hull breach in the life support. Oh, do they actually have a physical hull breach in the life support? That's kind of crazy. It's... Now, being in a burning room does damage to you. Right, let's jump the hell out of here. Now those fires will still be there when we rematerialize, by the way. The number of merchant ships passing through the area despite the threat of Mantis invasion. No doubt interest in the buying the efficient technology of the Engi. Okay, luckily nothing happens in, happening in this sector. Okay. Oh! Oh, it, it wrecked! Okay, it, the life support is now broken because it got it caught on fire. Yeah. But the fire itself is out at least. Now notice our oxygen is slowly draining away there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> slowly running out. If those hull breaches were still there, that would be even worse. <laughs> All right. I get your guys in the med bay. Yes. Absolutely. Aki, our new guy Aki is the only one who wasn't burnt. At least somewhat. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Jo okay. John's piloting skill is getting quite high. Once it fills up with green, then it starts filling up yellow, and I believe full yellow is the highest it can get. So you could like dodge like a bandit, right? Presumably. And now we head for the exit. <laughs> they're uh, they're really booking it this time. I mean, oh my god, they're going like really fast now. I think it like between sectors, they the fleet advances faster and faster. I think they might. I'm not certain, but yeah, I, I, I get that impression. You come across a large trade station. However, as soon as you approach, a warning goes out to all ships in the region. Do not associate with the Federation sympathizer. All who oppose the rebels will be punished. <laughs> search among the stores to see if someone will sell to you or leave. Well, let's search. You find a single store that responds to your hails. Don't open any wideband channels. We'll sell to you, but we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. All right. All right. Stealth weapons. Hmm. Prevents your weapons fire from just okay, lets you shoot while cloaked. Explosive replicator. Missile weapons have a 50% chance of not using a missile. Oh, that would have been really cool if you had the. To... Oh damn it! They have the crew teleporter, but I can't afford it. I've been having the crew. The crew teleporter lets you teleport guys right over to their ship, and try to like. And it, you can attack their crew, wreck their systems. You got nothing to sell, right? What, what's that? You have anything to sell? Uh, I'd have to basically. Oh no, sell I don't want to sell your. You want to sell your weapons? No. Um. And actually, if you if you win a battle by killing the entire crew instead of uh, by uh, you know you know blasting the ship up, you get a lot more scrap and other resources. Yeah, you can get like boffo scrap, but I'd say it's a good time to get like yeah yeah. Too bad you can't sell your drones. Oh. I, 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 well, I, I did. I did. I already have sold my drones. That's the. I mean, like you sell your drone control, but I mean, like the drone parts. I meant to say. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't, except at certain special events, you can't sell drone parts, missiles, or fuel. Yeah. All right. Okay, we've already done Enki control. Let's try rock controlled. 
Ready? Yep. Let's drop the people's elbow on this sector. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. You can't smell what the rock is cooking because scents are carried by... Um, the, through, on the molecules air. that are carried through the air by where currents. So. Yeah, I think it works. <laughs> the rock people are powerful are a powerful and proud race. It is not unheard of to have a peaceful journey through their lands, but don't count on it. Look, I'm just saying, you know, I mean, I don't mean to be like racist or anything, but you might want to, you know, raise shields when you go through this sector. Oh no. How could you talk about Dwayne Johnson that way? <laughs> you recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. Buy one slave and free them to join your crew, which I can't afford. Attack, oh, boo. Attack the slaver scum, or ignore the slaver and continue on your way. I'm going to attack the slaver scum. Yeah, it doesn't look like he has uh, good uh, weapons. Go for it. Pirate bomber. You may have. You may need to reevaluate, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you're the one who, like, initiated combat, so... Oh, sure. Blame the victim. 